All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So a lot of you guys have asked about the customizations on the Galaxy A70. And in this video, we're going to talk about that. So currently, I always run this Pix Launcher right here. So if you go into the Play Store, you can see Pix Launcher Early Access. You just install it, uh, and then you will have the launcher. Now, the icon pack that I use is called Ortis. It costs a dollar, I believe. I think I paid for it. I'm not sure. Um... This is the round icon pack here. They have this square one that's free. Um, I, I have it installed on some other phones, but uh, I just prefer the round one. Uh, I think the round one looks pretty cool. Uh, and it gives you this like a uh, stock Android cartoonish kind of look, which is something that's been appealing to me. Now, let's switch to how you can not buy anything uh, and um, just customize the phone directly out of the box. So we're gonna go up here to default apps. I'm gonna switch it back to um, the uh, One UI Home. Uh, and here is what everything looks like. Now, Samsung actually has a theme store uh, that you can just come in here and you can customize this thing however you want. You just pull down and here's all the current things that I have installed. So um, let's just change it to this one right here. You just hit apply, you download, buy buy things if you want to but you don't have to these are free things uh that uh, i use here from the from the app store and from samsung uh because you know i don't definitely don't want to buy things if i don't have to so you get the theme installed this one is called water drop it completely changes the look of the icons and there, and there you go and that's pretty much what the themes will do for you uh so you can go in here and change it to um I did buy this Popeye theme years ago, uh, and so I just always keep it on hand. It looks good. I'll show you what that looks like. This is called Water Drops with a Z. The other one was Water Drop. Um, but, you know, putting theming a Samsung phone is pretty simple. Now, I'm just showing you the themes now, but I'm going to actually show you the icons and everything else, too. So this is what this looks like. Uh, so we go back in here. Uh, and... I'll show you some more. You can actually change. All right, so I'm going to change to this theme, right? And then I'm going to change the icon pack. Now, this is standard across nearly 99% of Samsung devices. But someone asked, does this device actually have a theme store? And the answer is yes. So you can see the name of this one here. So now I'm going to go back in. I'm going to leave this theme. I'm going to go to themes. Then I'm going to go to icons. And here are some of the icons that I've downloaded. So let's go ahead and install the... Uh, pixelized icon pack and the theme will stay the same uh, but the icons will change to this pixel icons as you can see there so I get a black theme and then I get um, the pixel style icons to the best of their ability uh, so let's go back in and go to themes again let's go to icons and let's change to this icon pack right here this one's a little bit more dramatic so you can see a, a, a definite change uh, in the icons here. So now they'll start to change over. You can see all the camera change, the phone change, the messaging change, the gallery, the email. Uh, and you go into here, you can clearly see a lot more things changing in here. That's the downside of having some of the themes from the Galaxy Store. Not all your icons change. And so that is why I tend to use my setup now. Um, Unless you're doing a theme, that is. Uh, so if you do a theme here, everything changes. Uh, but when you have just an icon pack that someone's putting in the, the Galaxy store, uh, most times it won't change every icon, is what you can see there. Uh, so when I change to uh, my man Popeye, you can see, obviously, it's a theme. So everything gets that themed look. So that is how that works. So... You know, theming the device is fairly simple, man. I mean, it's it's not something that you sh it's something that you should expect on every Samsung device, uh, and and I pretty much think I think all of them have it. This is the stock theme right here. This is the stock theme. Uh, this is the way everything comes in the box. Now, I actually changed. I see a lot of people using the four icons. I I just do not like that. That's too much. So what you do is you go in here and you change the grids. You've got five by five, you got five by six. You can change to, I got it on five by six right now. You can change to five by five, you can see what it looks like. So let's just change it to five by five since it's on five by six right now. You can see the icons pretty much get bigger, right? Uh, and that's inside of the um, app screen. So let's put it back. 
and now you see I got my five by six again and then I can organize these I can sort them alphabetical order it'll sort them all out and now they're all in alphabetical order and I have less pages uh, so then if I want to I go back to the settings here I can do the same thing with the home grid uh, yeah, this is definitely, this is how people have it. This is how it comes out of the box, I believe, four by, f I think it comes four by five. And the icons are much bigger, uh, and I just don't like this look right here. I think that looks horrible. Uh, and this, everything's just jumbo size. If you go four by six, you can see how it looks. You go four by five, you go, uh, f uh, f uh five by five, and then five by six. So, you know, if you want the, the, more stuff on the display this is what you're going to have to do here so i'm going to put these back where i had them and this is how simple it is to customize uh the samsung devices man it, it doesn't take much to customize them i'm just kind of slapping these back down here for now i don't know if this is the exact order i had them in but it doesn't really matter and then there you go. So you, you have more real estate uh, on on the device. Now, again, I tend to stick with um, my setup that I, that I like here. And also, when you go to display, you want to turn on dark theme or night mode right here. You can actually do it from there or you can go up here and do it. Switch on night mode right there. Uh, so it changes everything to black change it to dark mode so that's some place that you can do it two places you can do it uh, to customize it and so we're going to go back in here to these apps uh, and, and and also you don't have to you can keep this theme like I said and then just change the icon pack uh, and and it'll it'll switch up for you so you can go here's one that I've used I really like this one it just kind of puts a circle around the ones that again that's the problem with themes uh it doesn't theme everything and that's the sad part because th this one puts an icon around it so you get some idea but then let's change this back to my wallpaper that i actually like uh, that i was using it's right here and then we'll turn off motion effect and go home and then here i have this set up so now we can go back in and change um, the uh, icons, the uh, setup back to the way I had it when I started the video. You go back to default apps after you go into apps and you go to the launcher uh, and then it'll change back to my setup here, uh, which is what I really like, the Ortis uh, with the Pix launcher. And here we are back with my original setup. So that is how you could theme this device any way you want. You also have Nova Launcher. Someone asked me, did I do uh, Nova Launcher? Um, and um, I do Nova. I, I bought Nova Launcher Prime, uh, but I don't use it very often because Pix Launcher is enough. You know, how much do I really want to customize my phone? Uh, I don't want to go too detailed into doing this specific set. You can, in, but the great part about a Nova Launcher is that you can do a backup and then. It'll put everything back. Like if you switch phones, that is that's how I used to use um, uh, Nova Launcher Prime when I would use it. Uh, I would have I got I still have that setup. I have this I have this one particular setup that I use, uh, and I just go into my Google Drive and I hit restore from that backup, and it puts everything back the way it was, which is really cool. Uh, but this is my current setup for nearly all of my Android phones now. So I really like Ortis, uh, cost a dollar, and I, li I like the Pix Launcher. Uh, and so there it is, man. That's my full setup for nearly all of my Android phones when I do change them up. This is the setup that I'm normally going with. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.